Hey there, welcome to Top Spot Channel. Today I will share with you about these are 12 different things you can do with sandpaper. So let's check it out. Sandpaper can come in handy in a lot of different situations. Nearly everyone has a couple of pieces of sandpaper lying about their garage or storage space. You've probably had to paint something before, which means you had to send the object in question beforehand. But did you know sandpaper actually has a lot of other handy uses besides sanding? For the following 12 tips, you don't even need to use new paper, you can just reuse a piece. Have you ever considered using sandpaper for these things? 1. Jars. Keep a piece of sandpaper in one of your kitchen drawers in case you can't open a glass jar. The rough texture gives you more grip on the lid of the jar, which means you'll be able to screw it off more easily. 2. Cutting boards. Do you have a wooden cutting board that no longer looks very appealing? If you've been using it for a while, grooves caused by knives will have appeared in the wood. Little bits and pieces of food can get left behind here, and food products can also discolor the wood. Lightly sand the cutting board with fine sandpaper to make it look as good as new, and use a non-toxic type of mineral oil to grease it again. 3. Cast iron. We don't recommend doing this to your best pots or pans, but if you have a cast iron pan that's starting to rust, this trick can be really helpful. Use a bit of sandpaper to sand away the rust. This can also work to remove some unevenness on the surface of the pot or pan. 4. Shoes. Dress shoes often have very smooth bottoms, which can make it easy to slip and slide if you walk around on them. Sand them with a bit of sandpaper to create a bit more grip. This way, you're less likely to slip and fall down. 5. Lint and fluff. Remove lint and other pieces of fluff from your sweater by rubbing it with a piece of sandpaper. Do make sure you're rubbing in only one direction. The paper will remove the fluff, and your sweater will look as good as new again. 6. Suede. If you've got a few small stains on your suede shoes, coat or bag, you can try to rub them out with a piece of sandpaper. Suede has 7. Scissors. If your scissors have gone blunt or have got glue stuck to them due to a recent crafts project, you can fix it by cutting through some sandpaper. You will catch two birds with one stone. The paper will make your scissors sharp again, and it will remove any glue residue. 8. Rust. Get rid of rust on your tools with a piece of fine sandpaper. Sanding off the rust will take a bit of time, but this way you won't run the risk of damaging your tools. 9. Pencil. Have you lost your pencil sharpener, but do you really need to sharpen your pencil? Wrap a piece of sandpaper around the tip of your pencil and rub it around it, moving in the same direction the entire time, until you've created a nice, sharp tip. 10. Grout joints. Have the grout joints in your bathroom or kitchen gotten so dirty that it seems impossible to clean them? Fold a piece of sandpaper in half and use the edge to lightly sand the grout joints. Be careful, though, because you don't want to scratch the tiles. 11. Seeds. Help out Mother Nature a bit by lightly sanding seeds before you put them in the ground. This way, you remove the outer layer of the seeds, and that means it will be easier for the seed to absorb water. It will germinate faster that way. 12. Slugs. Place the flower pots in your garden on top of a piece of sandpaper. Slugs won't want to touch the paper so they won't be able to climb into the pot and then damage your flowers. Thanks for watching. If you like this videos then hit the bell icon and subscribe my channel for more updates. Stay tuned and peace.